Good afternoon, students. So today we see the solution of non-linear partial differential equations of the first order. So before that, first we see what is a non-linear equations of the first order. So here a partial differential equation which involves first order partial derivatives. Okay, a partial differential equation which is having first order partial derivatives. First order partial derivatives means what? Only uh, dou z by dou x or dou z by dou y. Okay, only dou z by dou x, dou z by dou y. Okay, these are called as first order derivatives. Second order means what? Do square z by do x square, do square z by do y square, do square z by do x do y. Okay, then similarly do cube z by do x cube. So do cube z by do y do y cube. So these are third order partial derivatives, right? So any partial differential equation which is having partial derivatives of first degree of first order okay uh, of first order but but the degree is what higher than 1 the degree is higher than 1 for example uh, dou z by dou x so dou z by dou x it is a uh, partial derivative uh, with order 1 so if i take dou z by dou x whole square so then we get it is a partial derivatives having degree more than 1 that is degree is 2 ok so like that a partial differential equation which involves first order partial derivatives b and q with high degree higher than 1 and the products of p and q and in that partial different, uh, differential equation uh, p and q are multiplied together ok that equation is called as a non-linear partial differential equation of the first order. Okay, so so these are known as uh, non-linear equations of first order. So here there are four types of non-linear partial differential equations of the first order. The first form is it is of the form f of p q equal to zero. So this is the first type of non-linear equations of first order. Next comes here. This is the second form. Now equations of the non-linear first uh, non-linear first order differential equation. So it is the second form that is z is equal to px plus qy plus f of pq ok any partial differential equation of this form it is called as second form next we have another form that is third one it is of the form f of z pq equal to 0 so this is the third type of non-linear equations of first order and degree more than 1 Next type we have equations of the form f1 of xp equal to f2 of yq. This is another type of non-linear equations of the first order but more than higher degree more than 1. Okay. So, these are uh, four types of non-linear partial differential equations you are going to study in this semester. So, let us see one by one. Okay, so first one, equations of the form f of pq equal to 0. Okay, so here we assume that the complete solution is z is equal to ax plus by plus c. Okay, we write let z is equal to ax plus by plus c be the solution. Where a and b are connected by the relation f of ab is equal to 0. 
so now this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 now from this equation 2 okay from this equation 2 we find the expression for b in terms of a then substitute that b in the equation 1 so which gives the solution of the given differential equation that's all so that is what we do from 2 we find the value of b in terms of a or you find the value of a in terms of b in any way so let it be what b is equal to phi of a then substitute this b is equal to phi of a in this equation 1 so which gives z is equal to ax plus phi of a into y because b means phi of a into y plus this is it. okay so we have substituted this value of b in this equation okay in this equation so where b is phi of a so which is the solution of the given differential equation okay so this is how we uh, solve a nonlinear equations of the first kind now we see here some examples solve root p plus root q equal to 1 okay so in this equation here let z is equal to ax plus by plus z be the solution okay then is equal to 1 then in this equation this is the given equation here you replace p by a and q by b which gives root a plus root p is equal to 1 okay replace p by q by a and b in this equation put p is equal to a and q is equal to b which gives root a plus root b is equal to 1 now from this expression we calculate the value of b so from this expression what is root b so root b is equal to 1 minus root a next squaring on both the sides b is equal to 1 minus root a whole square now substitute this value of b in this equation that is here in this equation we get z is equal to sorry in the first equation here z is equal to ax plus b means uh, 1 minus root a whole square into y plus c so this is the solution of the given differential equation Next, take the second one, uh, solve pq is equal to p plus q. Solve pq is equal to p plus q. Again, what we do? We replace p by a and q by b. So, we will get a b is equal to 1. Okay, here yeah. pq is equal to p plus q in this. Put p is equal to a and q is equal to b which gives a b is equal to a plus b a b is equal to a plus b ok so then uh, we have to find the value of b in terms of a so now here a b is equal to a plus b so this bring this b here then it gives a b minus b is equal to a now take b common we will get 1 minus a is equal to a or b is equal to a divided by 1 minus a. So, b is equal to, we will get b is equal to a divided by a minus 1 you will get. Now, again you will let z is equal to ax plus by plus c be the solution and then put the value of b in this equation which gives z is equal to ax, b means a by a minus 1 into y plus c. So, which is the second uh, solution for the second problem? Okay. Next, we have another problem. Solve x square p p square plus y square q square equal to z square. So, this is the problem. Now, here this problem is not in a standard form. That is, this problem is not in any of the above four types. It is not. It is not in the form of any of the above four types. So, in that case, what we do? We write this given equation, or we can divide the whole equation by z square. 
we divide the whole equation by z square so then it gives x square by z square p is nothing but dou z by dou x plus y square by z square q is nothing but dou z by dou y is equal to 1 since this can be written as x by z dou z by dou x whole square plus y by z dou z by dou y whole square is equal to 1 because we are dividing with z square so from this expression what we do we take dx by x okay dx by x as d capital x dy by y as d capital y and dz by z as d capital z then x becomes log x differentiating with respect to x x is equal to log x then capital y is equal to log y and capital z is equal to log z just integrate these things okay integrate these things so integrate this one so integration differential cancels x is equal to so integration of 1 by x dx is log x similarly integrate this integration of d capital y is capital y then integration of 1 by y dy is log y similarly here z is equal to log z okay now from this dou z by dou x is x by z into dou z by dou x and dou z by dou y is y by z into dou z by dou y okay so this can be written as now again by using replacing these two in this equation that is x by z dou z by dou x is dou z by dou x so here so here we have to replace this by dou z by dou x and here we have to replace this by dou z by dou y so this can be written as dou z by dou x whole square plus dou z by dou y whole square equal to 1 or let us denote this by capital P and denote this by capital Q so which takes the form P square plus Q square equal to 1 so where P is dou z by dou x and Q is dou z by dou y now this is of the form f of p q equal to 0 ok this is the form f of p q equal to 0 means what any expression which involves only p q and some constant or may not involve constant ok so then that is known as uh, f of p q equal to 0 now in this expression uh, it, it involves only p and q and some one constant that is 1 so therefore it is of the first form again uh, to solve this equation we assume that let z is equal to ax plus by plus c uh, then replace p is equal to a and q is equal to b in this equation which gives a square plus b square equal to 1 then from this equation we calculate b which is root of 1 minus p square now substitute this value of b in this solution which gives z is equal to a capital x plus b means root of 1 minus a square capital y plus c now after obtaining the solution again replace capital X and capital Y and capital Z so from where you have to replace this this one here so replace capital Y Z by log Z and replace capital X by log X replace capital Y by log Y log Y we substitute on this because uh, actually the problem is in the form of small x and small y so therefore the solution should also be in the form of x and y only ok so now what we have to do what we have done so just for the sake of solution for reducing a given problem into a standard form we make this substitution and we have converted all small x small y and small z in the form of capital Z and after obtaining the solution we substitute resubstitute the value of capital X capital Y and capital Z so that therefore uh, finally we obtain log z is equal to a log x plus square root of 1 minus a square log y plus c so this is the uh, complete solution of the given problem i hope you understood this problem next we go to the next problem solve y minus x into q y minus p x equal to p minus q whole square again here the uh, problem is not in any of the above four types so we have to reduce the given problem into a standard form by making some suitable uh, substitutions so here we make a substitution x plus y equal to capital x 
and x1 is equal to capital Y. Now we find first small p, so small p is dou z by dou x, which is equal to. Now we uh, differentiate small z first with respect to capital X and capital X with respect to small x. Similarly, we replace, we differentiate z with respect to capital Y and capital Y with respect to small x. Okay, this is because uh, because uh, z is function of both. All z is a function of all x, y. So therefore, we apply here uh, total derivative formula. Hmm, total derivative formula which we have studied in second semester. So therefore, we is, we obtain this dou z by dou x. Similarly, we obtain dou z by dou y as dou z by dou x into dou x by dou y plus dou z by dou capital y into dou capital y by dou y plus is you okay? So in this case, we write this as dou z by dou x plus y into dou z by dou y because uh, dou x by dou x now we know what is x here ok so this is x capital X now differentiate this capital X with respect to small x we will get this as 1 so we replace here 1 so it gives dou z by dou x into 1 plus now dou z dou y by dou x so now this is uh, capital Y is equal to x y now differentiating this with respect to uh, small x which gives y so therefore here dou z by dou y means small y into dou z by dou capital y similarly we obtain the q term ok now replacing all this in this equation and simplifying we get this equation ok or this can be written as dou z by dou capital X into dou z by dou capital Y whole square which or which is equal to p is equal to q square where p is dou z by dou x and q is dou z by dou y. So now again this is of the form f of p q is equal to 0 that is first form and apply the technique of first method that is uh, let z is equal to a capital X plus b capital Y plus c equal to 0 be the its solution. Now in the given uh, here in this problem, replace p by a and q by b, which gives a is equal to b square, and from this we calculate b value. So b value is square root of a. So substitute this square root of a in this equation. So which is equal to z is equal to a into this capital A x is x plus y plus root a as it is, then capital Y is x y plus c. So this is the final solution of the given problem. Okay, so this is the, these are the problems on first kind of nonlinear equations uh, and in the next class we see some second type of nonlinear equation. Okay, so with this I conclude this class. Uh, thank you.